Is the middle class disappearing? As times change, other things also change. During 2020, the economy took a big hit, but when it started up again, there was a divide in the middle class. The people in the middle either got richer or went broke. If you know someone that still does not believe the U.S. middle class is falling apart, show them this video because by the end of it, they'll probably have a different opinion. The percentage of middle class jobs has dropped in the past few years, and most people don't have much more than their homes these days. It helps families that own their houses to improve over time. For years, the American dream had been home ownership. As the cost of living increased, it looked like that wasn't going to be an option anymore. Nowadays, many people are having difficulty buying a house. We don't always get to focus on the most important issues. That's why we compiled these statistics that prove that the middle class in America is systematically being destroyed. Before today's video starts, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and hit the bell to get notified when we post. We've got 30 stats to show anyone who doesn't think the middle class is one. According to Gallup polls over the past two years, 10% fewer middle class Americans consider their finances to be good or satisfactory. According to a report released by Wells Fargo, the negative effect of rising living expenses is really impacting middle class Americans. The bank said that over the past year in January, middle class consumers felt the most pressure with inflation half a point higher than those at either end of the income spectrum. The report, among other things, also mentioned that about 40% of middle class Americans are worried about not having enough money to pay their monthly expenses. This accounted for 34% of all middle class Americans. Furthermore, 27% of respondents mentioned being worried about getting a mortgage for their house or about the affordability of housing. And 22% said that they are only making the minimum payment on outstanding credit card debt. For an 11.1% middle class Americans said they're likely to miss at least one payment over the next three months, according to federal data. When inflation is weighted over a long period of time, it has actually been very difficult for America's middle class. With the realities of everyday life being more expensive and stagnant wage growth, it is hard for middle and low income families. For example, they have to spend 40% more on just everyday expenses beyond what a price index indicates. It's also important to mention that in 2001 median income earners were worse off than their counterparts were in 2011. Housing cost prices only increased by 54%, which didn't actually go up much. That said, the price of homes has skyrocketed so the median earner with a $100,000 income can now afford to buy 36% of the U.S.'s homes full-time. And that's assuming they already have a 20% down payment on hand. This also means that the middle class is now locked out of 64% of housing markets because they don't have that money saved up. Black Knight data shows that 8 out of 10 families in 2001 had an average $4,000 in extra income after covering their basic needs. This extra money could have been spent on anything from quality clothes to family vacations. By contrast, they would have to get into $2,000 of debt in order to maintain a very low lifestyle according to a study done by the Ludwig Institute for Economic Policy Research. CP1 survey results indicate that middle-class workers, mainly professionals and office employees, are worried about their pay. Roughly two-thirds, or 61.8% of those surveyed feel this way, and the percentage of those who are worried is rising. According to a new report, over three out of two RDS of American workers say that inflation has outpaced the salary increases they've experienced so far this year. Additionally, about one in five workers have said inflation is at least keeping pace with their salary growth. We last had the Economic Confidence Index at Gallup measure minus 45. This is down from the previous two months where it was at minus 39. The lowest reading in the past 10 years was recorded in early 2009. At the time when it was near its lowest point, 38% of middle class workers said they were worse off financially than they had been a year ago. There has been an increase of 6.5% in these bad readings over the last year. Apparently, the main reason why people are feeling more financially insecure these days is because of how expensive things have gotten. Around 35% of those who were surveyed said that the rising prices are to blame for why they feel worse off than last year. 
One in seven American workers say they are not paid well, according to a new survey. CNBC, 8 to 15% of workers say they have considered quitting in the past three months. That's good news the inflation rate has reached a record high. 6% more people feel it's a problem than last year. That number is 3% higher than in 2017. The skyrocketing increases in the price of flights, food, housing, and other necessities are extremely worrisome to Americans that rely on just one paycheck every month because they have an unsustainable living wage. 64% of the entire population may be living on a single paycheck even with recent wage gains. This implies that two-thirds of Americans reported they had little or nothing left at the end of the month after expenses, according to a report by Lending Club. Consequently, even if you are rich, you have to live paycheck to paycheck like everyone else. A lot of topics are just easier to split off in a different article. For now, Lending Club study mentioned that 36% of paycheck to paycheck consumers earn at least $250,000 annually in the U.S. According to the National Institute on Retirement Security, 62% of middle-class Americans are worried about not having enough for retirement. The Institute's research manager said the country will soon no longer be able to afford retirement. Middle-class Americans face starkly increasing economic inequality, with ownership of financial assets highly concentrated among the wealthy. The individual ownership of financial assets has led to Americans in the middle class struggling to save enough for retirement. A new report about millennial retirement found that for many in the middle class, the outlook is pretty bleak. The tax breaks designed to encourage retirement savings disproportionately benefit those at the highest income levels and have allowed the gap between rich and poor to skyrocket. When it comes to defined contribution plans such as 401ks and IRAs, 55% of the tax benefit goes to those in the top 10% of income. Average people earning a middle-class salary will see only 4.6%. In the past three decades, 10% of all earners have seen a 22% increase in income, while the other 90% of all earners has seen only a 15.9% increase. According to the latest study by Pew, the richest 5% of Americans have seen their median wealth increase by 88%. This increase is three times greater than that of the middle class. A new Federal Reserve report says that the middle class is disappearing as middle class jobs are decreasing. 64% of us workers are now in these jobs came from a previous number of 76%. The number of men in the prime age range with a high school degree and working in the 1960s was at its highest close to 90%, but as of right now, that number has dropped to just over 80%. Through the years, real average hourly earnings have dropped by 18%. As The Economist points out in a recent article, this coincides with the rise in income inequality. In terms of percentage of total student loan debt, middle-class Americans hold roughly 60% of the total public student loan burden. Seems like it's been years since the U.S. Department of Agriculture published a study about what it costs to raise a child through age 17. If things continue at their current rate, the cost for middle-class parents who have two working adults is almost $200,000 by 2020. About 12.5 million children live in poverty in the U.S., or 29%. This is hard to believe, but an astounding one out of every six children in the U.S. lives in poverty at present. If the middle class was doing well, there wouldn't be 1.3 million public school children who are homeless according to the National Center for Homeless Education. There are a lot of people out there facing financial hardships right now. You know, so many husbands and wives have been fighting with each other about money lately without even understanding that the position they are in right now is a result of years of terrible decisions by our so-called leaders. It's becoming clear that as the number of people in poverty is decreasing, the problem is becoming more prominent than ever. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see similar videos, click on this video to the right. Or maybe this video to the left might be more interesting to you. Hope to see you all in the next video. Take care and remember, stay informed, stay prepared.